Shausa meets many travelers upon the road, and of all of them, she asks one question. Do you need anything? To the gate will take more. Green Shade is still Show safe. Velen Harbor's under attack, and the town folk are fleeing to Green Shade. I don't know what the lieutenant's thinking, but we've got to get everyone out of here. I should be doing something. Velen Harbor's my home. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave Velen Harbor, but it's too dangerous to stay. You're heading the wrong way, aren't you? Everyone's fleeing Velen Harbor but a few diehards. Wait, you don't look like the running type. Perhaps you can help us defend the city. I'm as in charge of this madhouse as anyone, but I have no time for diplomats. Hold a moment. You're no cringing diplomat. I really don't care who you are as long as you can help defend Velen Harbor. A Red Guard force made landfall and assaulted Velen Harbor. They must have made a deal with the Drablog clan of Wood Orcs, as they attacked from the hills at the same time. Captain Coloralda was at the docks. She's either dead or cut off. That leaves me in charge. Civilians are trapped in the trade hall and Mages Guild by the Drablog. Rescue them. The sergeant can arm them and organize a counterattack under the Fists of Thalmor banner. Tell them to get to the Fighters Guild barracks. We'll meet them there. The Drablog overran the marketplace, but a few townsfolk took refuge in the Mage's Guild and the Trade Hall. Concentrate your search in those buildings. Clear the way and send them to us at the barracks. We'll regroup there. The Queen sent us to escort the Green Lady to the city of Sylvanar, but the Red Guard and Drablog clan got here first. The Captain knows more than I do, though. I hope she's still alive. Captain Calaralda was at the docks to meet the dignitaries. The Red Guard arrived instead. She probably went down fighting. If she's alive, though, we'll rescue her. The Queen sent us to escort the Green Lady to the city of Sylvanar, but the Red Guard and Drablog clan got here first. The Captain knows more than I do, though. I hope she's still alive. I think it's worth a try. The Queen's counting on us, and with the Captain dead or missing, her duty falls to me. I won't abandon Velen Harbor without a fight, and I don't think its people will either. The Queen sent us to escort the Green Lady to the city of Sylvanar. Bosma tradition says the Sylvanar is their spiritual side, while the Green Lady is their physical side. When both sides marry, the Bosma are stable and balanced. There is a new Sylvanar and Green Lady at the moment, and they haven't married yet. 
The old Sylvanar and Green Lady were diplomatic envoys for the Queen, getting the Bosma to work with the Dominion and so on. But they both died recently. Their replacements somehow absorb their spirits. I don't know how it actually works. Invaders crossed the bridge. They've taken over the entire town. The fists of Thalmor. I thought they ran off. But how can they take back our entire town? There aren't enough of them. I heard the captain got killed in the first wave along with her men. Well, they've got me. Give me a weapon and I'll learn how to fight. Thanks for finding me. I, I don't think I could have done anything on my own. If I had a weapon, I'd slit a few of their throats before they got me. The fists of Thalmor are still alive, and they've got weapons. Good. I'd rather smash skulls with a... <laughs> ah! Damn drub. The fists of Thalmor... Can't wait to give those Drublog what's coming to them. Hope the lieutenant has a good morning, Star. I like weapons I can swing. them by myself I saw what they did to the others haven't you seen the bodies if I hide here maybe they'll take what they want and leave really the Thalmor is still here I heard their captain ran away or was killed maybe we've got a chance with them on our side they're then harbors my home I'll fight for it Where fire so sweet and airy with a hint of crunch
I can't believe it. I'm going to lose everything. Fight? I don't even know how to hold a weapon. What can I do? The Fists of Dalmor? I thought they abandoned Velen Harbor. If they're still here, maybe there's a chance. All right, I'll help. You do not want Let's to Let's show the draw blog whose town this is. Nice work. I'll train our volunteers as quick as I can. Lieutenant Aaron wouldn't wait for us. He took a few of the more hot-tempered civilians and headed across the bridge. He thinks the captain is still alive. No, but I don't want a good officer dying for one that might already be dead. Lieutenant Aaron is young, but he's one of the best lieutenants we have. The captain? Let's just say we can always get more like her. Sharp, aren't you? When the assignment came down for us to be an honor guard for the Green Lady, Captain Kularalga pulled as many strings as she could to get command. Recognition is everything to her. Fighting isn't. Good, you made it. Thank you for rallying these brave men and women. We stand a chance now. She does? I'm surprised. The sergeant's one of the hardest fighters I know. We can't let up. The captain either died fighting or she needs our help. Either way, we have to push on. Until I know for certain, it's my duty to attempt a rescue. Captain Colorado and her men were on the docks when the Regatta landed. She might have gotten safely into the lighthouse, but I don't know. We need to alert the rest of the Broken Coast. I want to send a runner to Deepwoods, just in case we can't take back the harbor. I'll keep pushing forward on the slim chance the captain's alive, but I've an idea that needs your help. The Drablog hold the landward gate out of Velen Harbor. I need you to clear the way for the runner. When the road's clear, blow this signal horn, and one of our sprinters will take word to Deepwoods. The rest of the militia and I will stop the Drablog from burning this area to the ground. I'll make one of the buildings atop the hill into a makeshift headquarters. When the runner clears the gate, meet us up there. It's been a long time since I've handled a weapon. We're not waiting any longer. Velen Harbor's our town and we're taking it back. I can't believe... Just when things were going so well, all this had to happen. What? Who do you think... Oh. You want to help me? How generous of you. I actually could use help. I'm a traveler, you see. I was touring the residential district when the Drawblog attacked. I would, but I lost very specialized tools. I fear the Drablog took them, or hid them among these burnt-out ruins. Can you retrieve them for me? I'll make my way toward the docks. I could meet you in the warehouse district there. I appreciate your help, but let's be clear. I'll pay you to recover my property, not to ask questions. Ah, but curiosity kills the Khajiit. 
and it kills other people too. But seriously, my tools aren't anything remarkable. I'm just a very private person. Can't you just trust me? All right. You won't understand anyway. I lost a small potion bottle, my work clothes, some finely ground mineral dust, and, well, a type of screw-driven tool I'd rather not elaborate on out in the open. Sorba will follow you all over Velin Harbor and fight at your side. But don't leave the area or she'll just come back to me. I arrived too late. By the time the latest recruits and I got here, the lieutenant was already on the ground. I saw the bastard that did this to him. Oh yes, I saw him. That drop blog have taken too much from us. We have to start taking from them. The militia? Uh, are they all right? I tried to lead them, but the droblog... I couldn't wait for them. Ran ahead. Too far ahead. Impatience. My curse. Uh, the captain, if she's alive... Uh, Sergeant Linaria is in charge. She's got to... to save Velen Harbor. Now. They'll pay for this. Oh yes, they'll pay. It isn't enough to drive the Droblog back to the forest. We have to kill them all. Lieutenant Aaron's gone. Damn idealistic bastard. I tried to protect him, but he wouldn't let me. Look, we've got to do what he asked. We must free Velen Harbor. But do something for me first. Kill the bastard that killed him. Chief Mockhook, the leader of the Drablock. I didn't realize what he'd done until I got in here, when it was too late. I bet he's in the town hall, the big unburnt building behind this one. Much as I want that bastard's blood on my sword, I can't. 
I told the lieutenant I'd protect the civilians. I'll start moving the militia toward the warehouse district. Meet me at the bridge when Chief Mokhug is dead. Once you kill the Droblog's leader, I hope those orcs lose interest in the town. Curse it. Lieutenant Aaron was a good leader, and dedicated to the Dominion, if a bit hot-tempered. I'll do my best to keep things together, but it'll be hard without him. Tired, angry, sad. I want to kill every Droblog and Redguard in Velen Harbor. Lieutenant Aaron was ten times the leader the captain was. He didn't deserve to die. You know, I bet the Droblog are only in this for pay. They'll quit when they see we aren't easy marks. Then we'll fight until they leave, or help arrives. The Queen will send an army to protect the Sylvanar and Green Lady once she hears what's happened in Velen Harbor. So I fight, and I'll keep fighting, no matter what. I don't feel the same way about the Captain as the Lieutenant does. Did. Captain Colorado was always a bit of a martinet, which isn't bad in and of itself, but I never thought she has what it takes to lead troops into battle. Nothing. Everything. I don't know. It's just a feeling I have. Despite what the lieutenant says, said, I think the regatta landed very easily. We should have had some warning. Anyway, nothing we can do about it now. Well? Tell your captain my decision stands. I hope you've had as much luck as we have. Is the Droblog's leader dead? Good. I've had a bit of luck myself. I sent our militia toward the dock. They're waiting for me so we can attack the invaders. No! We need a distraction so I can get the militia into position. The invaders are unloading supplies. Setting them on fire should be plenty distracting. The supplies, I mean. Burning's too good for the invaders. My team will hit them from behind. By the time you're done burning their supplies, they'll be split up and scattered. We'll hit them on the docks while you attack from the warehouse side. 
We'll exterminate them like the vermin they are. You in? That is beyond me. If I have to guess, I'd say this isn't some minor piracy, but the spearhead of an invasion. But I'm no officer. I fight for a living. Anyway, burn the supplies, and that'll get their attention. Ready? The warehouses contain Velen Harbor's food supply. While I'd rather burn it than give it to the invaders, things aren't that desperate. Let's keep the destruction to a minimum. We still have a chance to take the town back. I'll order the militia to strike when we see enough smoke. If we can catch them by surprise, we'll drive the invaders toward the lighthouse. If not, well, it was an honor. Have joined the buoyant armages. You made it, and in one piece, too. I thought my leg was going to give out crossing the water. But enough of that. Did you locate my things? Excellent. To be honest, I wasn't certain you could pull it off. Give them to me now. No, I won't. I'd rather... Oh, Bondar's ears, you've already seen them. I take care of problems, much like you. I came to Valen Harbor to eliminate a smuggler and a slaver, and I did my job. Unfortunately, the invasion hindered my escape. Yes, I did. And I guess you've killed a few people in your time, too. You may not approve of what I do, but we're on the same side right now. And I can help you do more damage to Velen Harbor's invaders if you return my tools. Many thanks. It might surprise you to know that the people who hired me aren't friends of Velen Harbor. Even worse, they didn't pay me. Ilwan at Nazim and Danza are lieutenants, leaders of the Regatta Invasion Force. They all worked with my target and didn't want their captain to find out. They hired me to kill him, then tried to have me killed. I'd kill them myself, but my wound... Actually, no. Killing just one of them would send the right message to the survivor. It's not smart to eliminate potential employers even when they're enemies.
for us. In a big family, you have to know how to scrap. little present from Vec, eh? You did it! The militia gave a good account of themselves. We managed to trap the Regatta Captain in the lighthouse. I'll leave you the honor of gutting him. I'll keep the militia fighting. We'll keep the rest of the Regatta off your back while you deal with their leader. Once he's dead, they'll break. I'm sure of it. We've come so... It's what Red Guards from Northern Tamriel call themselves. Velen Harbor used to trade with Red Guard merchants, so they grew to call them Regatta as a sign of respect. From this point on, I'll bet it's a curse. By the gods, the lieutenant would be proud. We've killed or rounded up most of the regatta invaders. The militia won't have a problem with them anymore. Yes, we did. The Drublog fled the town as soon as they learned you'd killed their leader. We defeated the remaining regatta, other than a few holed up on their ship. We'll take care of them later. In the meantime, we made an interesting discovery. Captain Kularalda, leader of Velen Harbor's Fists of Thalmar, the honor guard for the Sylvanar and the Green Lady was found hiding beneath the docks, without a scratch on her. Still in her hidey hole. I put some guards on her, in case she tries to disappear. Or the civilians try to lynch her. She has an interesting tale to tell. You should hear it. Victory heals wounds as well as laughter does. And I've had a touch of both today. 
Of course, there's grim work ahead of us, cleaning up after the invaders. But at least the city's ours again. You should. You'll see what the lieutenant and I had to deal with. I'm heading back toward the center of town to make certain everything's secure. I'll meet you in the warehouse district. Yeah! Yeah! We cornered a few of the Regatta and their pet Woodhawks on the ship. They can't leave the harbor, but no one wants to go in and clear them out yet. Outrageous. I am a captain of the Fists of Thalmor. By what authority does a mere sergeant keep me detained? When my superiors hear what happened this day, Sergeant Lenarie will be court-martialed. We were inspecting ships when a sentry cried out, Sail ho! or something equally meaningless. It didn't make any sense. After all, we expected a ship. I told the men to stay at attention. And look like fools in front of the Green Lady? Of course I didn't sound the alarm. When the enemy attacked, I immediately saw we'd be overwhelmed. I organized a retreat and hid until reinforcements arrived. How dare you? I did what I had to do to save my command. The lieutenant's sacrifice was... unfortunate. If he'd waited... I'm sure the raiders would have taken what they could and left Velen Harbor more or less intact. He died for nothing. Care to join? Captain's men are as disgusted with her as I am. With the townsfolk willing to testify against her, the Fists of Thalmor will have no choice but to cashier her. She'll be locked up until we receive word from Elden Root. My job? We were sent here to escort the Green Lady, but the town's defenses will need a bit of work first. I'm sure our paths will cross again someday. Belen Harbor isn't the only place in danger. The sergeant said Belen Harbor would have fallen without you. Honored to meet you. I'm the Green Lady. The, uh, the new one. I could use your help. The Drablog clan usually side with my people in times of war. We need to learn what changed. I'm going to Drabul, the Wood Orcs' nearest settlement. If the Sylvanar arrives, I'll send him on ahead. When you can, I'd appreciate your help in Drabul. You have a spear in this pig, too, since you fought the Drablog here. To be blunt, you couldn't keep up. Don't be offended. I can travel through the forest at great speed. I'll perform a few emissarial duties here and still beat you to Drabool. Belen Harbor's been preparing for my wedding, so I have to take the time to meet with the locals. Don't worry, I'll still beat you to Drabool. He'll be as safe as his entourage can make him. Don't worry. I may embody the physical prowess of the Wood Elves, but the Sylvanar has all our spiritual strength. That's why our union is so important to my people. The Bosma were once carefree, untroubled by things beyond Velen Wood. With changing times, we also changed. The Sylvanar holds the spiritual essence of the Bosma, and the Green Lady holds the physical aspects. Each generation, we renew our vows. My name is Gwaring, and I've only recently become the Green Lady. The former Green Lady, my Aunt Fenoriel, died while traveling on behalf of the Dominion's Queen. At her death, my destiny was revealed, and I began the necessary rituals. Too many, if you want to know the truth. Still, it's important for the Bosma to see the Sylvanon Green Lady married. It keeps us stable. I'm proud of my heritage, and have renounced my worldly obligations in order to become the Green Lady. Belen Harbor is safe. The townsfolk praise your name, 
And you've shown our captain's true colors. A busy day for you, eh? You made short work of that little task. My vengeance is complete. I thank you, and I owe you a debt. Perhaps we'll see each other again sometime. Maybe I will, but don't be too insistent about that. Keep your curiosity to yourself. Better to stay silent and be thought a fool than to speak carelessly and have your throat cut. A good sense of discretion goes hand in hand with a talent for self-preservation. You've done me a favor here, but don't push your luck. I'm here to help with the reconstruction. There's money to be made here. I appreciate what the fists of Thalmor and the new militia did. But we need to rebuild. I need to find some help. Opportunistic harvesting.
nothing wrong with a little opportunistic harvesting. Come on over. Don't worry, I didn't kill them all. Plenty more up in the ruins if you're interested in lending a hand. Seems these sea vipers want the sphere for themselves. We use a sphere of storms to control the weather and defend our shores. Crushed a few of the sea vipers' ships before they managed to land. Now we're waiting on reinforcements. Hope they get here in time to do some good. Dead or hiding, doesn't matter. I need to stop the Sea Vipers from breaching the ruins until the Thalmor reinforcements arrive. They have a Sky Key in their camp. It'll let them walk right into the ruins, unless you get it first. Interested? Search the tents around the ruins. Let's meet at the ruins' entry, straight back from the stone steps. It's an Aeliad ruin. The Storm Wardens use it as a sanctuary for the Sphere of Storms. Might I say this isn't the best time to be chatting away. The Sea Vipers aren't going to wait on us before getting to the Sphere. Me. I'm just a soldier. I keep the area secure for the Storm Wardens. Usually. I left for a bit and came back to see the Sea Vipers tramping over the ruins. Been a while since I've had some exercise. I arranged my warmest welcome for our invaders. Some magic alien device. The entire ruin was built around focusing its power. Does a good number with controlling the weather in the right hands. The Storm Wardens use it and protect the Sphere, and have for centuries. They're Bosma who've sworn to protect the Sphere. Some say they learned how to use the Sphere from the Aeliads themselves. They use the Sphere to defend the coast, tend the forest, stuff like that. Sort of like monks who control lightning.
don't like your arm. Over here, behind the roots and corpses. Lucky shot from one of those sea vipers. Looks like I'll have to postpone those dancing lessons. Did you find the sky key? At least someone else has had some luck. Take the key inside and find the storm wardens. With this last sky key in their possession, they'll be as safe as torch bugs in amber. Well, ah, this little gut wound. I've had worse. Once an enraged Horvor. But really, this isn't the time for stories. We'll swap adventures when you come back, eh? Sea Vipers. So get ready for some action. The Storm Wardens probably sealed themselves off by now. It's going to be a real puzzle to get in there. It's the first line of defense for the Storm Wardens. Look for the constellation tiles. Activate the Tower, Shadow, Lover, and Thief tiles in that order. If you forget, I'm sure you can figure it out by looking around the ruins. I can't be sure, but I suspect Fearis is behind this. He was a Storm Warden, but left in a half about a week ago. I think he was upset about how the others were using the sphere. Rather, how they weren't using it. We've held the Sea Vipers back so far, and we'll carpet the floor in Dead Maoma before we let them pass. If you wish to help us protect the Sphere, speak to Kernion. I'd welcome another sword to the cause.
You don't look like one of those tree-cutter sea vipers. I'll assume that means you can be trusted. Is Mariel safe? Is help coming? At last, some good news. Zen willing, Firas will pay for his treachery. But we have more pressing concerns at the moment. The enemy is at our gate, and knocking most vigorously. Once we called him Storm Warden. Now he's nothing more than a petulant child. He demanded we use the sphere for selfish purposes. He even spoke of turning against the Thalmor. We refused and cast him out, but before he gave away his sky key. The sphere is waning. If it isn't recharged soon, our defenses will fall. We have a source of power available in the Storm Atronachs. Their Thunderstones should be enough to maintain the sphere. We'll be in your debt if you could obtain some. Through the door and down the hall. They gather throughout the ruins when the sphere is active. Once you have the Thunderstones, look for two receptacles in the Great Hall. That's where we drain power into the Sphere of Storms. Run. We'll use the extra power to seal these ruins completely. If you don't get out quickly, you'll be stuck with us until the invasion is over. Tell Marielle we'll send for her when the doors reopen. My apologies, stranger, but make sure to stay out of the line of fire. I can't let Denir and Tharel get too far ahead of me in their count before we run out of invaders to kill. I'm not even supposed to be here yet. I'm just an apprentice. I only arrived last week. Storm Wardens swear to die for duty. I just didn't expect to do it so soon. Don't worry about me. A lucky hit from one of the Sea Viper archers. He suffered far worse in the exchange. I'll be up in a few minutes. Just need to catch my breath. Another fool going to an early grave. You dare address me, insolent dog. Those who call themselves Storm Wardens are hardly fit for the title. They can barely control the storms, much less dispatch intruders from our sacred grounds. Such an impertinent question. I suppose there's nothing for it. I am Master of Elias, and once the Storm Wardens. Without me, this place is a shadow of its former glory. Invaders would have never crossed this threshold under my command. Help. If you're lucky, I won't kill them myself. They've severely taxed the sphere so much, I was forced to wake. And now I am forced to defend what they cannot. You dare raise your voice, slave, but you speak the truth. That is how history will remember me if I do nothing. I can't lend my sword, but I'll shield you from others who've awoken. May the storm see you unbroken. <laughs> For a savage you show promise. Just a bit, mind you. Perhaps one more act will earn you my respect. The traitor Fearus. He must die. I will not suffer betrayal in my order. Insubordination deserves death. Letting the enemy into our fortress has called the fury of the storm. Take orders 
from the... I'll use this. Die with the rest of the stock. Seems you're worth something after all. Perhaps once the wards are unsealed, they'll consider you a Storm Warden recruit. Why the ones your fellows are sealing, now that the Sphere has sufficient power? Fearus is dead, so they can close all escapes without worry. You, on the other hand, should worry about your own escape. If you go up the stairs, an army awaits. Dangerous. But it'd be entertaining to see you fight your way through the Sea Vipers. There's another way, if you're interested. Only for a friend of the Storm Wardens. There's a hidden sally port beneath a stone table just around the corner. Give it a good shove and you'll find yourself outside the lower level. It's the last exit to seal, but don't dally or let those Marma Cretans see you. Done well. Now that the sphere is safe, we can mop up what remains of these dungy sea vipers. But Dalmor, thank you for your assistance. Back already? How are the other storm wardens? I can hardly wait to give those sea vipers a good thrashing. Well, they'll be stuck in there for if for knows how long. At least the sphere's safe from the sea vipers. The storm wardens won't forget your help. May the storm travel before you, as they say. With luck, we'll soon get reinforcements from Bell and Harbor. Once Kernian gets out, she'll want some entertainment. And by that, I mean she'll zap some sea vipers with lightning. <laughs> 